So, what's going on everybody? I don't even remember the last time, nor am I looking to find out, the last time I've uploaded and submitted a YouTube video, or the tubes of you. I don't know, I'm just being in a stupid mood. Anyway, um, this is not a comeback video. In fact, I don't even know what this video is, but I guess like I felt putting something out there for a long time. Um, as you all know, I finished off kind of pick up where we left off. Um, I finished my 2018 season winning a pro show and then uh, ended up winning my OCP pro card in August of 2018. And then I think I left off somewhere um, where I had announced that I'm affiliated with Core Nutritionals and I still currently am. And I'm very happy to be with that company and for them to give me the opportunity to work with them. Um, and then I tore my bicep right at the end of 2018, entering 2019. Um, I think I tried to record some things and talk about it further, um, but honestly it was a pain in the ass to do. I had a use of one arm, I had a lot of other things going on that I had to put my attention on, um, and that's my biggest problem with consistency on YouTube. I know at one point I had, you know, years ago, um, was catching some steam and, and moving ahead with my channel um, but doing that by myself all the time becomes extremely tedious for me. Even though I do occasionally like to put out videos and content and try to help people, um, I struggle with ideas to constantly come up with material. Um, it would be way easier for me to do this type of stuff or this channel if I was given the chance where like somebody was literally following me around and recording me and I was talking with people and I, like they would take care of it all for me. Um, me constantly have to walk around with a really expensive camera, shooting in 4K, getting a computer that can handle all those files, editing it, making cool edits, whatever. Um, it's just not my thing. It's not how I like to do things. I'm not interested in it. It's too much work upon you know the other things that I that I do. Now the other people who are doing YouTube full time or or have full time jobs and can do it by all I means, my hats off to you for sticking with it, staying up till two o'clock in the morning and doing that. Um, but I'm not in my 20s anymore. I'm 39 years old. I have a kid. I have a house. I have a job. I have other responsibilities, and that is just um, not on my list. So you're probably gonna you're gonna see cuts in between this because I'm literally working out in my basement while filming this video. So I may be more winded and whatnot as I go along here. I'm just getting warmed up. Um, so I think to kind of get back to where I was, the last video I th around one of the last videos I believe was when I got full uh, clearance back in June of 2019 to resume full training. Um, so I did that, I got right back to training. I got my ass in gear um, and started to figure out how I was gonna come back from it. As you can see, the bicep is looking pretty damn good. Doesn't look deformed or misshapen. It is a little flat on the outside here with the brachialis. So I've been doing more hammer curls and whatnot. But overall, I'm training at 100% capacity when I can. Um, I started a new full-time job. Um, and then, you know, as time has gone on here, and if you follow me on Instagram at all, um, I've been having some just issues mentally getting motivated. Um, I've been struggling through workouts. I, I feel like I'm more checked out than checked in or going through the motions of training. Um, I don't know why that is. I've, I've evaluated a lot of things in terms of stress in my life, um, trying to find other interests outside of training to make things fun again. Um, I've had my blood levels checked for hormones and all kinds of stuff. That's all good. Um, there's physically nothing wrong with me. So this is just a mental thing that I've been struggling with for the past couple months. And um, there's probably multiple reasons for that. So get back to the reasons for that. Um, you know, in 2012, uh, I don't know if you've watched one of my previous videos, but I had issues in my past of like quitting, always making excuses, whatnot, and uh, I decided to prove something to myself that I've already stuck to something and uh, saw it all the way through, I would do well. So in 2012, I won my pro cards with the USBF and um, the DFAC. Once I got that itch, even though I won my pro cards in 2012. I knew I was not pro ready, but I had to prove to now that I had gotten 
proven what I needed to prove to myself. 2014 became um, the next goal to come back and prove myself as a pro. So in that year, I took second place in a pro show with the AMBF, uh, won my class in the OCB, and then fell short and came in second, I think, in the overall, but it was close. So therefore, I had the itch again of taking two to three years off um, and coming back. And I wanted to prove to myself, one, I could win a pro show because I could, I could taste how close I was. And then I really wanted to win my OCP pro card, which I did, both of those in 2018. Then I got hurt, and the motivation was to get my arm back. But at the same time now, one was kind of, could I get my arm back and what was going to look like, which I found out both are fine. Uh, I got it back and it looks good. Um, but I didn't know if and or when I was going to come back to bodybuilding um, because I wanted to take more time to grow and really work on some things with my physique, especially my legs, and thickening up my back. Um, even though it has great detail, I wanted to make it thicker. So 2019 latter half was pretty much recovering from the bicep, and I didn't really feel good till about November, December, not 2019, to really like start pushing. Then we got into March of this year, and everything got shut down because of this whole virus situation. Now, I'm not going to get into that. It is what it is. My state is being retarded and not opening anything. Um, it, you know, there's a lot of different things to take into account there. So, um, let me do this next set. So, hold on. so anyway, um, we're dealing with this whole crisis with um, Corona and businesses being shut down. And in my state, gyms are not even remotely being considered to be open, even though there's some lawsuits going on. Um, so I've been training in my basement four to five days a week, sometimes six, depending on how I feel, but mostly five. Um, now I'm fortunate years ago, which people say I'm lucky, I'm not lucky asshole. Um, I saved up a bunch of money, I did my due diligence, and I bought this equipment probably about five years ago before my son was born. So I have a power rack, I have dumbbells, which you can see in the background. Um, I have about 600, po whew, 600 pounds worth of bumper plates, uh, horse stall mats on the floor to protect the concrete. I've recently bought a, um, a pulley system so I can do some lap pull down type stuff. Um, I bought a landmine, and recently, which you can't see off the side, I bought a dual uh, plate loaded machine that allows me to do quad extensions and um, seated hamstring curls. Now with all that being said, I'm looking at investing more money into my basement because I don't know if and when gyms are going to open and if cases start to spike again, I do not trust the government not to lock us down again. So I want to have what I need. Now with all that being, you know, with all that being done, Yes, I have a luxury that a lot of other people don't have at the moment, and therefore I should be happy with that, but when I'm down here, a lot of times I find out that I'm just kind of um, in, in my own head, in my own way, like why am I doing this anymore? And not to say that I shouldn't lift heavy or you know, uh, not train like a bodybuilder anymore, I'm not gonna go to CrossFit or something like that, but it's like, what's the goal? What's the purpose? Um, that motivation or sense of mission is missing. Whew. So if I don't have a show lined up, it's kind of hard for me to, as of late, be as mentally focused and um, just con like I'm constantly just don't feel like training. But I am training to the best of my ability. I'm taking as long as I need between sets to get myself mentally ready to lift again. Um, when I feel good, um, I tend to up the weights a little bit. So, as you know, I've had a bad left knee for years, so I have to be careful of that. Um, but my lower back and my right hip have been bothering me a little bit. So I haven't been going as crazy on legs or squats and kind of doing a lot more warm-up stuff um, prior to doing those exercises. And that's probably the reason why I bought the quad extension hamstring curl. Um, 
because all I can really do down here is a ton of squats and hip hinge movements. So um, those are some of the things I've just been dealing with. Um, you know, I'm fortunate that my family's been healthy through all this. Um, nobody's gotten diagnosed or infected with it as far as we're aware of. Um, and my thoughts and prayers go out to you who have or have lost someone to this, but um, like I said, it's just something's not there. there. There's a spark that's missing and I think part of it is I'm not inside of a gym because when I'm around other people and I see them working hard, it helps me to push harder. Um, I can't train with my buddy Jesse right now who sometimes can definitely push me to another gear when it's time. So um, that's kind of just what I'm dealing with. And then you know, I always debate on how to be creative on things like Instagram and YouTube. And you know, I like to be there for people. I like to be a source of inspiration. I try to be a source of non-extremist truth and there are other good channels out there who do that you know type of thing but um, I'm not the kind of guy who's wants to get green screens and several thousand dollar cameras and certain types of lighting and create PowerPoints and it's not it's not me um, the probably the best time I ever had on YouTube was when John and I used to do it because we kind of play off of each other um, it would help me like trigger thought processes and you know, kind of get the flow going, and I really don't have that anywhere else. Um, doing podcasting is a full-time job. Um, and again, I think I would work better with a partner than solo. So these are just kind of all the things that are going on behind the scenes. And, you know, I want to spend time with my wife. I want to spend time with my son. I want to spend time with my mother and father. Like, there's other things I'd rather be doing than sitting here every day or several times a week talking to a camera taking however no however long it takes to download it onto my computer go through all that effort create great thumbnails um, and all the other work that goes in behind the scenes besides just recording to get you know generate interest I'm not one of those people that's gonna do stupid shit like 10,000 calorie challenges or 20,000 calorie challenges or hundred thousand calories over the course of four or five days it's just not my thing I, I'm not like I'm not gonna try to be funny because that's not my style I'm funny in a moment I'm not gonna try to be funny on a camera um, you know, I, I, I don't, don't want to sell out that way it's not who I am and I'd just rather be straightforward about it and teach are all like I'm not passing judgment on anybody it's just my style I'm not gonna go and create clickbait titles and all that other crap. I'm just not, it's not who I am. I don't wanna do it, I'm not interested in doing it. I'd rather just literally, not even edit this video, which it is gonna be to cut out some of the dead space, but I'd rather just like hit upload and send. And even that, maybe, <laughs> I don't even think I could commit to that once a month. Um, you know, I tried doing Q and A's and People always bitch, like, oh, you should do a QA, and a you should do a QA. and a Okay. Was at, put out on my social media, hey, listen, I want to do a QA and a video. And then nobody would fucking write anything. So I'm like, like I'm not, I don't want to waste my time. You know, I try to do it on my Instagram. Like, ask me a question and I'll do short little, like, Instagram stories. Nobody bothers. So for me, it's like, I don't know, maybe I should work harder at it if I really want to develop it, but... I have other goals and I'm not looking to build a business off of YouTube or my social media. Um, I have my coaching business. I take on very few clients, only people that I really want to work with who are serious. I'm not going to negotiate my rates. I'm not going to do what people aren't going to fucking listen. Um, and that's really about it. Like, I'm not looking to build an empire off of it. I'm not looking f to become an influ influencer and basically have people pay me to do like paid ads. I'm just not. It's not my thing. So, for all those of you who followed this channel for a very, very long time, I appreciate it. I'm never saying I'm never going to do another YouTube video. But if you're sitting around waiting for one, I wouldn't hold my breath. Um, I was just really had some time and I was like, hey, you know what? Let me just do this now and send it out there. And I wish everybody the best of luck. I hope everybody's healthy. Um, I hope you're finding motivation. I hope you're researching on how to train better, eat better, um, stick to your diet and your nutrition. And that's really about it, guys. All right? So, 
with all the love, keep it up, keep strong. If you need me, go to my Instagram. You can always DM me there. I will always answer. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.